We're so excited to be in Georgetown, Guyana today, meeting with Sherwin Welcome. Uh, that is his name, and it's very appropriate. Uh, Sherwin is showing us around today in the Guyana facility. And uh, tell me a little bit about uh, what we're seeing here, Sherwin. Well, um, it's uh, what we have here. First thing, welcome. Um, what we have here is uh, open floor operations, um, and we host approximately 1,300 odd agents on this current floor. And um, this is a very nice account. Um, we we started in 2005, and we just started with about 40 agents total. And we gradually grew to the capacity that we have here. And this is just due to a lot of hard work by the team that is put through here. And the current client has given us the opportunity to reach the volume that we have right now. That's great. That's great. So as we walk around here, what are some of the things you want to show us? Well. Um, Pretty much we have a basic uh, floor setup. We have uh, pods of um, 18 uh, to 1 ratio because every supervisor has 18 agents mm -hmm. and that's what you're going to see over here. And uh, every two supervisors is, is accompanied by one quality analyst for that group who pretty much monitors that. Okay. In this area you'll see there is the area where the quality analyst sits and they do real-time monitoring of the agents to ensure that they're adhering to the policies and the procedure of the current client. And do you have agents doing chat as well? well as voice and well we do pretty much all is um, voice only mm -hmm. right now um, we do uh, customer service at, at this current uh, stage when you go over to the other side we do a bit more um, off offshore um, technical support but they don't do a lot of voice they just do between um, carriers and um, the, the agents so they, there's not much of voice interaction there but they do a lot of back, back office work okay good well we could take a walk around here right say hello to the team right so pretty much what you're gonna see here is the same setup um, 1 to 18 ratio um, most of the the agents that we have here are from the first and second level when we go more to this end, you'll go to the third level where we have agents here approximately um, um, uh, five, five, six years of tenure um, mm -hmm. agents working here. So one of the good things is that agents tend to stay very long in, um, for us here in Guyana. Interesting. Um, good. On, on the sides, you'll see we have uh, meeting rooms. This is where we have huddles and um, group meetings. Uh, we have LCD screens where we pu uh, publish all of the information that we have um, on updates and. Uh, uh, any information that the agent needs to have at, mm -hmm. at a real-time basis. Mm -hmm. uh, these, you'll see three of these are three management areas where all the managers are there and they're allocated for specific parts of the account. So um, it's kind of segregated based on the, the skill set, so we have it set up that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This part is the more of the non-voice part, and these guys pretty much do all of the, um, the back office work for, for our client, right? And it's very complex um, transactions, and these agents would have been here for about six, seven years, mm -hmm. um, tops up with, uh, with for, for this current account. So do these agents need any specific uh, certifications or any um, skill set training? Well, good question. Um, the thing is that um, from first level, um, there is, a specific training that is need to be done to move to the second level and um, that is based on client requests and then to go to the third level again specific training and that is one client request. The good thing about this setup is that 60% of this current staff is actually in the third level, the highest level, which means client sees a lot of potential and a, a lot of skills uh, for these agents and they request to have more of those type of agents. So we have 60% in the highly skilled, mm -hmm. then we have 10% um, in the in the middle and then the remaining 30% is on the first level. Okay. And Sherwin, another thing I'm curious about, I've gotten to know Qualphone a little bit in the last six months pretty well. I got to know your founder and one of the things I was impressed by was the, you know, we hear a lot about this theme of we're a people company, right? but uh, tell me in your own view what that's meant to you because I know Qualphone does does do a lot for its oh, people. Oh wow. Um, it, it's a uh, all different other type of company I would say and one of the things that I've noticed is that even for myself when you when you enter an industry like this your your first thought is I'm just gonna hang around for about a couple of months until something better comes along and then here I am eight years later and I, I, one of the things that I would have mentioned earlier is that we have agents who are six years seven years here so they come in with one perception and because of how the type of company it is more like a family they, they tend to stay longer for a longer period and we do you know things outside of the normal life for instance we have times when the group 
goes out into the community and you know kind of spread that same cheer over we go to the old um, folks homes and we do haircuts and pedicure mm -hmm. manicure oh wow we go read um, books to the the orphanage go to the hospital and read the kids we paint the, the roadways um, kind of reach out there to, mm -hmm. to put that that extra out to, to the community so it's a, it's an all different company I tell you and what what is it uh, how do you see that does that make a difference for the agents working day to day what what makes it different working here versus you know coming into work every day well the thing is that what we don't want to do is keep it to just uh, an atmosphere where it's tense and it's just work mm -hmm. so we play a little I mean we play a lot mm -hmm. uh, so what we do we have um, a lot of uh, training on the supervisor level and the manager level to make work a bit lighter right mm -hmm. so not only it's cheery but we do different things I'll give you an example um, a few weeks back we had a week of activities where the entire center participated in um, there was a concert during the course of the center mm -hmm. we had a, um, a pageant um, a, we had persons who made it their responsibility to just give back to the persons that they would have saw every day. Wow. So just making their day go spread a little cheer. You know, I see you around every day, never say hi or whatever. So today is my day to say I appreciate everything that you did. So pretty much make it a bit light for the agents mm -hmm. and also the support staff. So it's I think the difference here is is that they enjoy it. It's something every day they come to work they think what is it new that work has to offer me.